Prison Progress Report Training The purpose of this training is to provide an overview of Prison's new Progress Report module. In this training, I am going to walk through all the pages in a Progress Report. I will point out some important information that sponsors might want to pay attention to. The easiest way to go to the Progress Report page from the Prison homepage is to click this button right here, Progress slash Final Reports, and then just click on the name of the, the project. This will bring you directly um, to the Progress Reports page. If your project somehow is not listed here, uh, you can look under My Recent Activities, you can click on there, or you can use the Go To Project search bar to search for it by entering either the project number or the project name. Next, click on Progress and Final Reports. If you already have a draft or returned progress report, you cannot start a new one. You can either click on that report and work from there, or you can just get rid of it. Now you should be able to start a new progress report by clicking here. There are several pages you have to finish before you can certify and submit your progress report to RCO. Within each page, we have provided instructions. You may also find those little info icons you can click on for additional instructions. You can go from page to page by clicking their name from the left or use the next and back button within each page. You can use the save button to save the current progress within each page. If you click on next, your progress is also automatically saved. The check page for errors is to make sure your page is clear of error and good to go. So let's start with the question page. The first thing, put in the date of this progress report. Answer each required questions. We'll leave this one blank so we can come back and fix it later. You may or may not see the magic setup, depends on programs. But here we do have to fill them out. In this page, you can just enter your progress up to date. There might already be existing ones, and you can just adjust them based on the current progress. I will enter one more. Let's go to the next page. If one milestone is completed, check this box here. If it's delayed, check this box here. Put in a new date. and enter a reason. You may update your any permits or answer additional permit questions here. Same goes to attachments. If you need to attach additional documents, please do so on this. And now you can use this check report for errors button And we knew that we missed one question on purpose here. Go ahead and fill that out. That should fix the error. Now you can check on this certification box and submit your progress report to RCO.
and that is basically how to make a progress report. If you have additional questions, please let us know. Thank you.